This video will give you an overview of the simple coordinate systems used in Physics 1. Before viewing this video, make sure to review units and basic trigonometry. After viewing, move on to the topic of vectors. In our first scenario, we are on the streets of Buenos Aires. We want to find the nearest coffee shop. To get accurate directions, first we need to establish where we are starting from. Then we need to orient ourselves with reference directions, such as east or north. Finally, we need to establish a scale. We need to know how many city blocks we need to travel in each direction from our starting point. This is an example of a Cartesian coordinate system. This is also referred to as a rectangular coordinate system. In Cartesian coordinates, the symbols often used are x and y for two-dimensional problems, as well as z if the problem is three-dimensional. Each of these coordinate directions is straight and is perpendicular to all the others. When expressing a location in this coordinate system, we will reference the magnitude of the position along each coordinate using the established scale. While it is common for beginners to learn on Cartesian coordinate systems set up with plus x to the right and plus y upward, this does not necessarily need to be the case. Depending on the application, sometimes you need to reposition and even rotate your coordinate system. Notice that between the two setups, I have not changed the quantity I'm trying to represent, merely its relative reference. In our second scenario, we are trying to find the shortest route between Guam in the Mariana Islands and Majuro 
in the Marshall Islands. This has uses in cutting down on flight time and fuel use. Again, we need to establish our starting point. Next, we need a reference direction. In flight navigation, the convention is that the reference direction is north and degrees are counted clockwise from it. Finally, we need to establish the exact scale so we know how much fuel to use. This scenario was an example of a polar coordinate system. This is sometimes re referred to as an angular, circular, or cylindrical coordinate system. The coordinate directions used this time are radial distance and angle from a reference direction. The symbol for the angle is the Greek letter theta. The radial direction points outwards from our reference origin. The angle is at all points perpendicular to the radial vector. The angular grid system in this case, is a series of concentric circles centered around the origin. We express a position in this coordinate system as the radial distance and the angle relative to our reference direction. The angle may be positive or negative depending how we declared the reference angular direction. The radial distance, however, is always expressed as positive. This is to simplify the expression of direction. 3 meters at 60 degrees up from the right is equivalent to negative 3 meters at 240 degrees up from the right, but the large number and the negative sign as to the direction will be more confusing than the smaller numbers and putting the direction all in the angle. In summary, to set up a coordinate system, you first need to establish your reference location, known as the origin, 
declare a reference direction and if the problem involves more than one dimension, establish reference directions that are perpendicular to that and finally make sure the coordinate system declares a scale with units. In the companion video to this, I will explain how to convert between polar and Cartesian coordinates.